Hello everybody, it is uh, Friday, January the 13th. <clears throat> I'm doing this video to uh, document a butia that we have. I ended up picking up this butia. This is, it's, this is going to be its uh, second summer. Yeah, I believe. In the ground, I got this thing from Lowe's. Um, and uh, it was looking pretty rough. It was on the clearance rack. I think I got it for five or six dollars over here in North Texas. Um, shocking to see a butia at Lowe's. Actually, the one that I got this at had a whole bunch of butias. Ironically enough, uh, I don't see that at every single Lowe's. <clears throat> but anyways, being the individual I am, I saw it on clearance and I couldn't walk away. So I purchased it. I actually got two of them. I had one that was here, or I have this one, and then I had one right over here. And I'll tell you the story. So, planted these in 2020, I believe. No, sorry, 2021. Yeah. And uh, both of these. And they went through the January ice storm last, uh, last year. In now, oh man, I, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. So, these went through the January 2021 20, ice storm and no 22 22 sorry man I'm, I'm all over the place we got uh, two consecutive days of 16 to 17 degrees snow ice um it just wasn't it was terrible so what i did was i did my usual protection method which by, by the way i should do a video on that i'm not doing that anymore uh, i just put some fleece around the trunk and then wrapped it in a black contractor bag and then just staked it down just, just to keep the winds off of it and so the story was, I got two of these these uh, butias, uh, both on clearance, exact same time, put them right next to each other. Literally, you can see how close this spot is. It's just, it's right next to each other. <clears throat> I ran out of counter bags and I ran out of time before that uh, storm in January of last year. And I wrapped this one, this one that was here. So I wrapped that one with the fleece, contractor bag, and I didn't have anything left. So I left th this guy totally uncovered. Well, these guys, as you know, do not like wet and cold in their crown. So this one spear pulled and ultimately came back. The sad part was the one that was wrapped with the bag t to keep it out of, the, out of the wetness. You can tell, um, not sure if you can see it, uh, it's no longer here. So it, it perished. Shh shortly thereafter so i'm doing this video to document this beauty is progress progress two years in a row cold uh no wet this time ironically enough you can tell it's pretty beaten up lost a pretty good amount of its uh older leaves uh the stuff on the bottom is pretty much gone but the trunk is still nice and solid not hollow that doesn't feel bad um, I, I did peroxide earlier, earlier on, I did some copper today, and none of the spears, or I mean, none of the pedials here in the middle, tug, they're all nice and strong. And I suspect, if I have to go out a week or two, I suspect I'll be getting a spear, because when you put your pinky down there, uh, let's see what I can find. When, when I put my pinky down there, I actually saw and, and felt toward the bottom, like there's some leaves coming. Can't see a whole lot right here, but I think there's something coming. And I, if I recall last time this happened, it took several, several weeks and uh, into the spring. But this guy came back and man, when he came back, he doubled inside. This thing blew up. So I'm hoping out of the two, I got some pretty good genetics, something that can tolerate some cold. We'll see. Um, what's interesting enough too as well is that uh, actually be talking about the copper, um, I just walked around the entire property, sprayed down uh, apples, peaches, pluots, plums, um, persimmons. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Uh, I sprayed all of our fruit trees because, uh, amazingly enough, uh, the trees haven't realized it yet, but it's only the middle of January. Uh, everything is leafing out. All my fruit trees are actually about to blossom. I can see buds on 
peaches, apples. Our Granny Smith just lost its leaves maybe three weeks ago. And uh, I guess the 85 degrees over the weekend for, for a couple of days in a row are confusing our trees. So all of our trees are leafing out. Everything's growing. Everything's growing. So let's hope we don't get a late frost that takes everything out. Um, but so far, so good. I guess we'll just keep on documenting. And this is my butea. Uh, it, as you can see, certain parts of it actually still look just fine. Some parts are pretty rough, but that's to be expected. It's still a young tree. Uh, as, as they get older, they get hardier. So I will continue to go and document the progress on this one in a part two in a couple weeks. And let's hope this thing puts out a spear and uh, we can keep on chugging along for another year. So with that, have a great day, everybody.